Well howdy everybody. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your own bottom bracket bearing press. Save that quickly and keep your teeth in. So the sort of bearings it's for is the smaller sort. The inside diameter is 24 millimeters. The outside diameter is 37. So the smaller sort. So you take your wheel stick tool, which we've made in previous video, take the body off, take the head off, and you only need two nuts, not three, so you can take one of the nuts off. So you're left with that, and I'll show you the other bits in a minute. If you haven't got the wheel stick tool and don't want to make it because it's too hard or whatever, you can always go to the hardware store and buy yourself a piece of thread, two nuts, and two washers. So like with all our tools, easy to source the parts if you haven't got them lying around at home you can always go to the hardware store and buy them they're readily available and cheap so firstly cut that piece of thread at 200 millimeters long and the thickness is 5 eighths which you should be able to find at any hardware store your two washers should be 37 millimeters outside diameter or more and just two nuts to fit that thread. A small length of poly pipe. So that's 19 millimeter poly and cut it at 110 millimeters. Most people seem to have a box of gardening bits and pieces like this. What we're looking for is a certain piece. Really, really simple. Here it is here. It's the adapter used on your common garden tap. That piece, and you need two of them. They're available in both brass and plastic. Brass is a bit more expensive, but the plastic does the job just fine. So this tap piece does two things. It fits into the cup nicely and pushes on the bearing on its outside race, while the centre of it holds the thread in the middle of the shell, so you get a nice even press on the bearing. So the part you've got is your 19mm piece of poly, your two tap ends, your thread, nuts and washers, and that's all you need. When using the tool, make sure your bearings sit on the piece of poly. It's a guide to keep them central in your bottom bracket shell. Without going into great detail of how to lubricate your entire bottom bracket, just remember that your bearings do need lubricating before you press them in. So, here's our bottom bracket, and now your piece of thread with one nut and one washer, and then the tap piece on like that, with the flange facing inwards, onto the bearing, and then your piece of poly. Remember, that goes inside the bearing, like that. Now just put it into your bottom bracket shell, it can just sit there loosely, and your bearing on the other side, with the tap piece, flange facing inwards, washer, and the nut. Now you can start winding in the nuts by hand. As you can see the bearings are already pressing in. And to make sure those bearings are sitting right into the cups, use the spanners, put them on the nuts and wind them in and you'll feel just go till they're firm. And they're in. Unwind the press take it out and bingo you're all done all done smooth and free